Hi, my name is Dr. Kabrasi and welcome to my lesson about naming alcohols according to UPAC rules. To name alcohols, we have to follow all the rules for naming alkanes with the following modifications. Rule number one. First, we, we must number the longest chain in a direction that gives the carbon bearing the OH group the smallest number. The red direction gives the carbon bearing the OH group number five whereas the green direction gives the carbon bearing the OH group number 2. Therefore, the proper way of numbering is along the green direction. Rule number 2. To name the alcohol, start with the prefix corresponding to the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain and end in ANOL instead of ANE. In this case, the longest chain contains six carbon atoms. The prefix corresponding to six is hex. Therefore, we write hex and we end in ANOL and the name becomes hexanol. However, the name is not yet complete. Here's a list of uh, the number of carbon atoms versus the name of the alcohol. If I have one carbon atom, it's methanol, two carbon atoms, ethanol, propanol for three, butanol for four, pentanol for five, hexanol for six, heptanol for seven, octanol for eight, nonanol for nine, decanol for ten, and so on and so forth. Rule number three. To get the full name of the alcohol, the location of the OH group must be indicated. To do this, we must place the locant of the OH group before the OL suffix. In this case, the OH group is on carbon number 2. Therefore, we place number 2 before the OL ending. Thus, the name becomes hexan 2 all Let's dissect the name it's a hexanol, meaning there are six carbon atoms. One of the carbon atoms has an OH group. The number two before the OL indicates that the OH group is on carbon number two. Rule number four. The OH group takes precedence over all other substituents and over double and triple bonds as well. It has the highest priority. In this case, there is a methyl group and there's also an OH group. The red direction gives the first substituent the smallest number. However, the green direction gives the OH group the smallest number. Because the OH group is higher priority than the methyl group, we always number in, in the direction that gives the OH group the smallest number regardless of the substituents. Therefore, the green direction is the correct way of numbering this alcohol and the name becomes 6 methyl heptan 3 all Let's dissect the name. It's a heptanol, meaning there are 7 carbon atoms. There is a 6 methyl, meaning on the number 6 carbon there's a methyl group. There's a 3 before the OL, meaning on carbon 3 there's an OH group. Rule number 5. Because the OH group has the highest priority, if the alcohol is cyclic, the OH will automatically get number 1. Then the ring is numbered normally, like all the alkane rules. That is, in the direction that gives the first substituent after the OH group the smallest number. When we write the name of the cyclic alcohol, the locant for the OH group does not need to be indicated because it is always understood to be 1. Thus, the name of this alcohol becomes 2-ethyl-5,5-dimethyl-cyclohexanol. And that's all there is to it. Alcohols are pretty straightforward to name because the OH group takes priority over everything else. So just remember, always, always, number in a direction that gives the OH group the smallest number.
Okay, this does not mean you start from the OH group. Only when it's a cyclic alcohol do we start from the OH group as number one. However, in a straight chain alcohol, we start from the end of the molecule, but the end that we choose is the one that gives the OH the smallest number.